hope we're live. Not sure. Have to wait and see. Woohoo! Uh, hope from the right way up. Hi guys, <clears throat> give it a minute. No sound, but you see, I know I had that problem the other day. Can the rest of you hear me? <laughs> I am saying a few things actually. Can you all hear me? Waiting for voice uh, recognition. Um, Woohoo! Perfect. Okay. Uh, there will be a live opening in a few minutes, but I thought I'd review, well, not review, but just show you the sources I've been buying, not to say I've been doing this but just about what's out there at the moment there's lots of sauce producers with amazing sources um, and there's some great deals going on I'm not stockpiling because I'm not a numpty but I'm also getting my supplies in for hopefully a, a good few months eating some chilli sauces uh, so first of all I did show the other day is My wine up, wine out the way. Uh, is some Mark Elliott flavour before fire, and you know what? These sauces are amazing. Uh, I'm just going to run through a couple of them. Uh, we've got here. Brilliant. Brilliant. Great start. If you lot stop cheering, it won't knock over. Uh, is his Perry. Bit of an unknown, this one. But fresh Scott Bonnets, chilli, 12%. A hot and spicy tomato-based sauce, spiked with garlic. Freshly squeezed lemon juice, fresh Scotch Bonnet chilies, oregano and selected spices. What I like about this is it tells you a few meals it could go with. Great with chicken, prawns, chips and much more. Can be used as a dip or a marinade. I'm so looking forward to this one buddy. It's uh, part of the range I got from you. Won't have room on the floor in a minute. Next one up. A lot of you will know it. Oh no, firepower. Yes. In the house. Made with some of the hot world's hottest chilies, 14%. I know a few people that can eat these. Um, sorry, light levels going. A super hot orange pepper based sauce made with some of the hottest peppers in the world. This sauce is great with chicken, meat, fish and more. Great to use as dipping or on a uh, marinade. I, I'm going to use that on chicken marinade, I think. Might slice it up and add it to noodles. Not quite sure. Possibilities are endless. Now, I've got a couple of, uh, not pickles, but kind of marinades. Could just go straight in a pop it on. Could be used to uh, marinate meat. I wish I had a barbecue. Don't anymore, but I'll probably get one in the next few months. Uh, a fresh, fruity and fiery mango based chilli sauce. So it's fruity, that's why it goes with chicken. Packed with plenty of flavour and just enough fire. 
This sauce contains seven ingredients that are classed as superfoods. Mm, a bit like super chill eating. It just if you can watch it, it's mm, nice consistency. He's in great deals at the moment. It all got to me this week, so he's still delivering. This I'm quite excited about, jerk paste. Um, again, summer's coming. We can buy these now before delivery may stop. I don't know in the UK. Uh, Scotch bonnet chili is one of my favourites. Uh, when I started chili eating, actually. Apple cider vinegar, onion, sugar, allspice, thyme, thyme, garlic, black pepper, salt and spices. It looks quite thick. It looks a very nice marinade. Chipolati. Mm. And one of my favourites actually. Over ribs. Oh, delicious. Over chicken marinating. Glazed up. It's nice. Caramelises. Lovely. Haven't tried it yet but... It's been recommended me this. I put a post on about chipolati sauces, and everybody recommended me this one. Uh, a well balanced, fiery, fruity, sweet, and spicy, and smoky chipolati chili sauce that works great as a dip, glaze, and marinade. Told you. Uh, try mixing it with mayonnaise for a delicious, smoky, and creamy dip. See, that's a great idea. Uh, or add some to your favourite dish to add to a nice, smoky kick. Possibilities are endless. And of course, <laughs> wouldn't be without the nuke already opened. Couldn't help myself. Alex Beams gave me some of this at his house. It's a nice sauce. It's, it's got heat, but it's quite versatile. I won't do the baked bean challenge, but it's... Well, I might actually when I get bored in about a week of lockdown. But yeah, it's our sauce. Very fruity. Quite tomatoey, uh, fruity and tango sweet chili sauce made with red bell peppers, red naga chilies, apple juice, garlic, and honey. That's what I mean about being sweet. This is a very versatile sauce that works great with fish, Chinese Thai food, in a burger, or much more. Again, nukes, if you haven't tried this, you need to get on the bandwagon. And again, all that came this week. Next up, they got recommended is Mandela Express. They're a curry company. They normally only do ready-made curry sauces, but they can't deliver them during the current uh, postage and you know all that's going on. So they're now doing dry mixes. So it just says add oil, onions, garlic, tomatoes, peppers, potato, lemon juice, a bit of puree. Tomato puree, green chilies, coriander, and of course your favourite meat, veg, fish or vegetables. And these you can just put straight in the pan, uh, add a bit of oil. They've got lots, they've got uh, this one, they've got that one. Bengal madras. That sounds good. Turmeric, cumin, coriander, paprika, cinnamon. Got all the big hitters there. Cardamoms, star anise, nutmeg, coconut, bay leaves, fenugreek, salt, cloves, chilli powder, garlic powder, ginger powder, ground celery, black pepper, fennel seed, mustard powder. It saves a bit of work. We all like cooking from home, but £3 each. That's going to serve four. So if you're like me, live in your own, it will serve two. But... Uh, Cali Joffrezi. Got all the big hitters there. God, I gotta get cooking. Now here's the one most of you will want. Ghost file. Mm. Just add oils, onion, garlic, tomatoes, peppers, potato again, which I don't normally cook in my curries, but that might be a nice maybe sweet potato as well. Lemon juice, tomato puree, coriander, 
and of course your favourite meat, fish, veg for vegetables. Mm. I wonder how much ghost peppers in this. It says it's hot. I'll let you know when I get around to cooking it, which current rate will be quite soon because I'm literally climbing the walls. And then I got pillarized seasoning. It's a bit lazy. You can slag me off for this, but I use uh, microwave rice. Very convenient. Tastes all right. But it says you can either cook basmati rice al dente or just open a packet of uh, microwave rice. Add a couple of teaspoons of veg oil and a little bit of onion. But you could buy that pre-cooked uh, onion, the crispy onions, just a sprinkle on top. Any Asian food store does that if they're still open. I hope they are. Uh, and then, yeah, literally, don't cook the microwave rice or the basmati rice you've already cooked any longer. Put it in a wok. Uh, add two teaspoons of pillow rice seasoning and fry for one minute. Add the rice and then stir it through till it's piping hot. That's your go-to pillow rice. I'm going to just open this and smell it. A lot of cumin. Quite a lot of ground coriander. Mm. It smells lovely. And it's beautiful colour as well. That will colour up your um, pillow rice to be restaurant standard. Um, next one. And the deliveries come. It wasn't like that, it was wrapped up. Uh, Cliff Hislop, Devon Chili Man. Hmm. I like a few snacks, I like a few crisps. So they got chili crisps, uh, hand cooked British potato, Mr. Sings, one pound a pack. Uh, it's silly, not so really, is it? Crunch. Mm. Just save that. Mm. Heat wise, it's a little bit building, but with a pint of lager, that would be lovely. Unfortunately, beer gardens are shut, as you know. Mm. But if you can get your own garden, mm. Mm. They're lovely, pound a pack. We've also got these ones, which are spicy tandoori chicken. Saving them. Um, again, depth of flavour is lovely. I did get another few packs, so I'm greedy about that. Chili oil, UKC rapeseed oil, is infused with my own grown Devonman chilies and is awesome used with cooking or drizzle on a pizza or pasta, drizzle that anywhere you like, just don't touch your private parts afterwards, it's nice, it's got, see that? looks like they're very well roasted, mm. That'd be nice. Don't always been a fan of chili oil, but uh, it's lovely. It's called Katie. Oak smoked. Again, doing great deals. Uh, got my own bizarrely named um, Corveva. Nearly Corona, but hopefully not. Um, like it. Go straight in my car in the morning. When I get back from the garage. Right, now here's his, here's his best seller. Gibbering smoke. It's a lovely smoky barbecue type sauce. Uh, a rich smoky chipolate sauce made using uh, our own chilies, oak smoked jalapenos and gibbering smoked chilies. Love it. I didn't even know there was a gibbering smoked chili before I bought one of these a few weeks, well, months ago now, but however, for the chili heads, the triple X version. 
it's hotter. You know what chilli it uses? Uh, more gibbering uh, jalapa chilies to give it an extra kick. So that's a triple X version. So we'll see how they compare. I'll probably go straight for the triple X, but the other one's lovely. Again, marinating dipping sauce. Pow! My favourite pub up the road, Prince of Wales. Don't think it's called after that. A medium, uh, fresh tasting salsa flavoured table sauce. Mm, like table sauces too. Good if you got family, for everybody. Uh, when let, let flavour of the jalapenos shine through, great on pasta, pizza and grilled meats. It's looking pretty good. That's another box empty. Oh, we've got a live opening now. Woohoo! Just lubricate the old noise. Now you need a knife, you need scissors. Put my magic mug down. It's our pros uh, opener box. He sent me a list, I've kind of forgotten a bit, but mm, it does look good. Like I say, not just chilli sauces, they, every, every producer is doing a range from crisps to chocolate to rubs. Katie's looking at me jealousy now. Looks like a bar. Mm. Steve Cooley. Daddy Cool's milk chili chocolate with orange and ghost pepper. Mm. Looks a nice colour. I said I wasn't gonna review it, but you you can't you can't help yourself, can you? It's ridiculous. Very orangey. Definitely got a little bit of pepper. If I wasn't doing this, half a bar would be gone in about five minutes. Probably less. Heat wise, it's got a bit of heat. Chocolate is quite Cadbury's type, which is lovely. I like that. Uh, it's actually better than that, but it's quite creamy, if you know what I mean. Mm. 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 That is a treat. Uh, right. Now a few of you will be familiar with this. Hmm. Garlic and paprika and a low uh, papaya, sorry. Quite a few of you have been saying this is really, really nice. Gar 59% garlic, right up my street. Papaya, 12%, spirit vinegar, mustard, or mustard oil, uh, ginger, spices, mustard seeds, Paprika, ground uh, flour, ground rice, ground rice, turmeric, salt, naga chili, curry leaf. That just looks. Mm. That's a winner. Still that in just for curry or marinade meat in it. Quite exciting, I've forgotten what I got. I should have sort my cupboards out like Alex Beams did today. Quite jealous. I bought a shelving unit to get them all on the show. This one I've heard lots about. It goes well on breakfast, seemingly. On uh, bacon, eggs, it goes on anything really. Uh, 
white fruity mango pears, mango pulp, white oil vinegar, carrots, onions, smoke. How do these guys get all this in the bottle? Lemon juice, tally chili, yellows and reds, lemongrass, rapeseed oil, salt. Oh, God. That's a pretty little number, that is. Quite fancy out with chicken again. I've just got a fruit and chicken thing going on, but I want to open them all now, but I can't because I've got loads of others to get through. Um, I've got some of you um, producers I've been by. I'll be trying to get some soon. Sambal, Chinese and Malaysian. It's really rich color, really rich depth. Got some nice oil in there. Onions, 29%. Chili, 29%. Oil, vinegar, sweet soy sauce. Love soy sauce. Um, this would make a nice kind of glaze for ribs or chicken or noodles. <laughs> I love my noodles. Soups, stews, meats, rice, and even eggs. Could you could add that into cottage pie. You gotta pimp it up. Hmm. Let's start cooking. Bloody hell. I'm not to get through. Uh, <laughs> Here's one I'm really interested in. Salted caramel. Is it cowboy candy? Yeah, candied jalapenos. Um, green jalapenos, chili, soy vinegar. Cane sugar, salt, caramel. Oh. Mm. Be used on ice cream. Be used on uh, pet smoked salmon and cream cheese. And that on top would just sweeten up. The, the jar is packed of sweet goodness. Wow, a bit overwhelmed now. Got a, got a little cool, cool badge. Right. Hmm. Bit of a one trick pony, am I? Smoked chipotle. This is especially delicious when used with plant based protein foods and jackfruit pulled pork. Prepared on the grill. See, my son's got a few allergies and um, he has a lot of jackfruit. And I'm like, to my ex, what the hell's that? But it's a very fleshy fruit and it's a good alternative to meat. Hmm. Got ketchup. Obviously, he makes himself molasses, chipotle sauce, tomato puree, Henderson's relish, pimped up version of. Uh, Worcestershire sauce, plain caramel, sugar. Oh, the, the ingredients list is endless. I don't. I really don't know how you guys do this because I won't even dip my toe into sauce making when you guys have already <laughs> got it all done for years of experience. I mean, look, look how thick it is. Can you see that? Can't even see your comments, sorry guys. A bit. Now here's another thing I heard of South Carolina barbecue mustard. Yeah. This is especially delicious when used with plant-based protein foods or any meat, straight from the grill. Mm. I'm gonna have to do this. That's delicious. Heat-wise, it's quite mild. It's got a little bit of a kick, but 
Oh my god. It's got kind of mix between more French mustard to English mustard, which is not a bad thing, but That could go on your on your fried breakfast. That is delicious. Mild and I put I have to put that near the fridge. Mild, yeah. So that's got a, it's got a nice little kick. Um, I just want to open them all now and eat them, but I can't. That's a nice one, that is. A mustard one. <laughs> Had to get a hot one, didn't I? Um, scorpion, Annihilation. Uh, perfect hot chilli sauce to spice up kebabs, pizza, Chinese. I use as a good old fashioned dipping sauce. Let us know how you use yours. Hmm. See, the first ingredient is roasted plums. That's going to be delicious. How do these guys think of this? Fresh um, Moraga Scorpion Chili, Chipolati Chili Mash, Pomegranate Juice. Just sounds good, doesn't it? Pears. Mm, I'm going to open it now. No, I shouldn't, but... Try not slice my finger off. Will it pour okay? Do the Johnny Scoville. Go natural. Yeah, here it comes. Oops. That's lovely. Got it uh, deep. Kind of, it's not barbecue. It's got. It's just a um, nice. It's got a lot of smokiness to it. Mm. It's got like a deep fruitiness, but on the lower level, so it's not too sweet. Nice smokiness. Yeah, quite a nice level of heat there. That's going near the fridge as well. Oh. So, and that's me out now. Um, hope you enjoyed. Can't really see any comments, but um, that's yeah, that's building a bit heat wise. Hmm, I think a few tablespoons on that. A mini dish, maybe like cottage or shepherd's pie or something that would spruce it up nicely. Anyway. Not to say because I've been buying all these sauces, I'm great, I'm not, but do look after our producers, they've got some great deals, There's, for those of you who haven't bought from yet, I'm trying to get around you all, but, you know, do it in time, hopefully the mail will go for another couple of months, take care, hope you enjoyed, hopefully a few of those sauces might, you know, persuade you to indulge, and then uh, give your own feedback, alright, cheers everyone. Love you. New family. Woohoo! Hope we can end it.